Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week, Marvel Zombies Zombicides, Sandman. Yep, here we go. One of Spider-Man's longtime enemies. I, I, this is a, a character I, I've loved quite a bit. He, he's, he's always fun. He's, when he shows up to fight Spider-Man, it's always fun. But, uh, you know, I pushed this model off for a while because I was a little intimidated by the sand. I, I don't know why. I, I'm not sure why. And I got to it. And, and, and I looked at it, and I'm like, well, we're just going to have to tackle it. So here's the day. We're going to tackle Sandman. Anyway, guys, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. I'll see you guys in there. Here we go. For Sandman, we're going to start off with the airbrush, and we're going to use some dark golden brown for a base on all of the sand. I'm gonna really, I'm gonna try not to hit the, the shirt and the, the actual pants and just the sand area. I wanna give the base of this dark brown because I'm gonna go over it with some lighter colors here, yellow ochre and some golden brown. But uh, gotta have that, uh, that undertone first. And then we'll probably go back in with a brush and paint paint the shirt and the pants. Hey right. guys, just a quick little tool tip here. Uh, this, this the airbrush I use most of the time is a Grex. I don't know if you guys ever heard them before, but they, they, they were just, I don't know, they were made, I don't know, several years back. I can't remember. It's been a little while, but they're, they're kind of newer to the game. But it's a really, really nice air gun. It, it does everything. It's it's just, I've had, you know, no problems with it except for your basic airbrush problems, right? You may get a little clogging from time to time. I mean, airbrushes are airbrushes. I mean, you can only get a certain design, right? I mean... Don't listen to all the hype. I mean, the airbrushes are airbrushes. Everything clogs up. You run paint, liquid through it, it's gonna get clogged up. But you know what? You you deal with it. You learn to avoid the uh, avoid the the worst clogs and stuff like that. You get better and better with with it, like anything else. Anyway, guys, there it is. It's a Grex. You know, underneath, you know, it just kind of looks funky, but it's just a regular airbrush. All right. Anyway, Dutch you might like to see that. All right, before we airbrush, I'm going to give you a quick airbrush tip here. Uh, I always use airbrush thinner, or sometimes I even use flow improver. Uh, air, yeah, where is it? I think I have some over here. Or I use flow improver. Just like a drop, a drop, two, drop and a half to, you know, two or three of these. One, two, you know, just, just did it down. Th this stuff works works really great, and it makes your, your airbrush paint flow so much better and cover so much more. But, uh, you know, you can still spray it directly out of the bottle. But as a rule, I always add airbrush thinner or, or airbrush flow improver. Anyway, there you go. With the first coat down with the dark golden brown, you know, I had to do it. I went over a couple times. In the in the bottom, it, it, there's a couple crevices that I didn't quite get, but I'll I'll, I'll hit it with the, the wash, and and you can't even really see them actually. I, I'm probably more nitpicky than anything. This is a great coverage. So anyway, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna use the dark golden brown, and we're gonna mix it with the golden brown to get a mid tone. All right, let's do it. We go golden brown will be the final highlight through the airbrush probably unless I do a, a, a little touch of bright ivory in the mix at the very end I'm not quite sure yet I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out bright wise I may have to go with the bright ivory with the brush rather than the airbrush we'll see but just before I did this I actually added a little bit more of this golden brown to that dark golden brown mix and and I did another quick pass and I made this a little brighter, so so now I have a little bit better of a mid-tone. I don't know, it's really hard to see probably on camera. I, I can see it really, really good here. It, it, it looks fantastic. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get the, the golden brown. All right, let's do it. I did end up using the, the bright ivory, as you can see, uh, with the golden brown to get some of those highlights. I, I, I couldn't help myself. I, I knew I couldn't. I, I, sometimes I try to stay away from it, just to maybe go back with the brush and do it. I, I don't know. I don't know what my hang up is, but I, I did it. 
I, I knew I was going to do it. I, I said I questioned it, but I did. So now when I put a wash on this, it's it, it's going to look really great. So with that being said, what, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and get this skin. And for a base on his skin, his, his basically just his head and his face, we're going to use a uh, dark one flesh. All right, let's do it. Got the face done. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm. It looks like I'm having some lighting issues with these light colors. I, it's like it's washing out when I'm painting. I apologize about that. I, I, I'm, I'm working on my lighting. That seems to be my nemesis. It's kind of hot and cold. Yeah, I, again, I apologize for that. But I just did the face, and all I did was a mixture of of the dark, warm flesh as a base, and then I did bright ivory a couple times till I came to a nice little highlight. And I may even do one quick highlight once I get the wash down. Yeah, it'll make it pop. All right, so, and I actually did that backwards. I did the shirt when I said I was going to do the, the skin. So, anyway, I did the skin, did the green, and now we're going to work on, actually, i got to get that hair done. We're going to do that in some brown, probably a, just a just a simple brown, dark golden brown. That'll work. Take that back. I think I'm gonna use warm brown mixed with that a little bit just to darken it up a little bit. I don't wanna keep, I don't wanna make the hair the same color as the base of the sand. So, all right, warm scratch brown. that. I'm gonna use dark umber for the hair. I, the warm brown I'm gonna use for the pants. And I, and again, I don't want the hair to be the same color as the pants or something down below. Just kinda, of, from, my, from my experience, kinda of wash the stuff out sometimes if you don't highlight it correctly. But so we're gonna do a dark umber for, for, for the hair. Right there. All right, let's do it. So we've got all the bases down pretty much here. We got the base for the green, we got the base for the pants, and of course we've already finished the uh, the sand pretty much with the airbrush. We still have to do the wash and all that. So with the greens, this this is kind of a focal point for this model is the green shirt here. And so with the base being said, I'm going to go ahead and mix the base color with the green, okay? To do the to do the darker green and then the lighter green, I'm going to do a mix of camo green and yellow green okay so but first we're going to start with the dark green and then we'll go from there all right let's do it First dark green down, that wasn't too bad. Uh, you know, I just kind of watered it down and let it kind of fill in the crevices and just kind of fill those the, the the gap up. It, it's it's kind of kind of like contrast paint almost, but you just got to do it layer and layer and layer, bring it out, bring it out. And I could probably use a little more on there, but I'm going to actually save that for some highlights. So now I'm actually going to start working on the the yellow green mixed with camo green right there. All right, let's do it.
all we need to do now is pretty much a general wash. Uh, we got to do the, the trim as usual, and then we have to do, do some wash. And I'm going to use, I believe, the Pro Krill Brown Wash. I'll, I'll, I'll take a picture of it. Uh, I'll do a clip of it before I before I do it. But I'm going to let this dry really, really good. And I may even do, actually, I may do a matte varnish over the top first now. We'll see. Anyway, I, I, we'll see. Anyway, okay, let's, uh, let's let this dry and uh, do the wash. All right, let's do it. Now we're done. Uh, that that the the sand the skin is, is done. I, I put the wash on it. I put the highlights on it. As you saw, it, it looks really nice. That that sand pops out at you, and that, and that that's what we're looking for. Now I'm gonna do a quick general wash. I'm gonna do a face wash on his on his face and his head, and then I'm gonna do the base, and that's about it. So let's get the wash on the face. Let's do it. There you have it guys, Marvel Zombies Zombicides, Sandman. Yeah, well, what a fun little paint. And you know, that, that, that sand had me all intimidated, and, and I don't know why, because it, was, it wasn't hard at all. And, and, and I, I knew it wouldn't be, but for some reason I was hung up on it. it, it these things that we do when we're painters and we're artists, we, the, the little things that hang us up. I should do a video on that, little things that hang us up, that, that block us, or just, just these little mental things. Anyway, I digress. What, what a cool little paint. Uh, we got a ton more to do. Not sure what I'm going to do, but I am going to be switching up models or games here pretty quick just to give, uh, give it a break. Um, I, I do enjoy the Marvel. I, maybe I'll do a Marvel one. I'm not sure. I, I'm, quite not, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, guys, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. I'll see you next week.